Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we're going to talk about solid state relays. What are they? What do they do? Wait a minute. Today, we're going to talk about solid state relays. What are they? What do they do? And how do you use them? Today, today we're going to talk about solid state relays. What are they? What do they do? And how are you supposed to use them? Stay tuned, right here on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we have a solid state relay. This guy right here. These are regular mechanical relays. They do the same job. This guy arguably can do the job better. It can switch faster and switch higher loads. So what are these solid state relays? How do we use them? If you take a look at it, it conveniently has a little status indicator light right here that shows when there's power applied to this side, it will switch the load on this side. And solid state relays have a variety of voltages that will allow them to turn on. This one here, if you take a look at it, it says 3 volts to 32 volts DC. And on the other side, you can see that it's rated for 25 amps at 280 volts AC. So what are these things and how do they work? Well, I have a schematic up here just to show you a few things that are going on inside it. So down here, you got these two pins. These pins are the equivalent of these two right here. You're going to have the positive down here at the bottom side, and you're going to have the negative up here on this side. And all you're doing is you're closing the switch or you're applying power. And what it does is it illuminates an internal LED, which comes over here to an opto triac. And a triac allows current to move in one direction or the other. It doesn't matter which is why they're perfect for switching AC. And you can see what it does is it activates these two pins on this side, basically closing the switch and allowing the motor to turn on. It's basically the same thing down here. You can see uh, pin four, pin three, that would be these two down here. Notice down here it says plus three, and over here it just says four. That's the plus pin, the positive, and this here is the negative, that's pin four. It is polarity sensitive because it has a diode on the inside. So make sure when you're hooking these up that you hook the positive on the positive pin right here and the negative on the negative pin. Now mind you, some of these can be switched with AC and it's gonna be indicated right down here. It's gonna be written on the part. And when in doubt, pull up the material data sheet on this guy and do some research before you just put one in a circuit. Since it is solid state, if you mess up, it will explode. So don't mess up. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the current rating. You can see up here, this guy is rated for an amazing 24 amps at 280 volts. That is its rating when it is properly hooked up to a heat sink. If you take a look at the back, this guy is metal. But this guy is not a proper heat sink. It's probably rated between 5 and 8 amps if this guy's floating in the air, not fastened to a surface, and not on a heat sink. So that 25 amps is only when it's connected to a proper heat sink. Mind you guys, remember that. Because some people will just hook them up anywhere, maybe not even screw them down. And you're only talking 5 to 8 amps, which is not very much. So you turn on a motor or a compressor or something like that, it's easy to explode this guy. Mind you also, metal to metal, put some thermal compound on there when you mount it to a heat sink. This one fortunately has a status indicator. So when I put voltage on it, you'll see this guy turn green, then this guy switches over. When troubleshooting this guy, you'll take a voltage measurement across the input pins and make sure that there's voltage across the input but you cannot use impedance, unlike the mechanical relays, because your multimeter doesn't kick out enough voltage to actually close the gap between these two pins. It only kicks out like a volt and a half. And the way to troubleshoot the output side is you take a voltage measurement with your multimeter. 
Now, since this is a triac, there is going to be a voltage drop of a volt to two volts. Unlike a mechanical relay, where you're going to have zero volts potential difference between the output pins. So when you're checking this side to see if it's active, then what you would do is you'd put it on voltage, AC voltage, and you would check it. And there should be only one to two volts difference between these two pins. And that is how you know if it's actually turning on your load or not. So that's how you troubleshoot them. You're gonna check voltage on this side to make sure you have voltage. And then on this side, you are going to check voltage to make sure that you only have about a half a volt to two volts difference between these two pins. And that will tell you if it's actually a closed circuit or not. So that's a solid state relay. Just a simple video showing you guys what it is. You will be using these on larger AC appliances. You should know how they're rated and how to hook them up. Thanks for watching guys.